Hi, this is a quick video that's going to show you how to access your 1Password Vault from any location using the 1Password Anywhere feature. Uh, the reason that this video could be useful is that 1Password for Windows doesn't actually create the uh, required HTML file when you install it or move your vault to Dropbox as it used to. The reason stated for this by Agile Bits is that there are security concerns with having this HTML file and then accessing it from public computers and things of that nature. I find that the utility of this feature overrides the potential security concerns and as long as you ensure that you log out of your Dropbox appropriately and uh, clear the cache from public computers, you should be fine in terms of accessing your vault from various locations. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, the difference between two things. So I have my Dropbox folder opened here on my computer and you'll see that I have uh, two different vaults. So I have the 1Password demo vault and then I have my personal 1Password vault. And if we just open up the folder here uh, and you'll see that I'm in my Dropbox folder, in the apps folder, in the 1Password folder, and then inside of the agile keychain folder. In my personal Agile keychain folder, I have the HTML file one password.html. If I go back to this and I open the demo, which I just moved to the Dropbox location, you'll see there isn't that HTML file. And to show you how the HTML file works, I have my online Dropbox opened here. And uh, if I open the one password folder and I go to my personal Agile keychain and click on one password.html, it actually provides me with an interface, which is very similar to one password. Uh, in terms of the application. So you'll see if I do that, what actually happens is it opens all my 1Password information, which I think is great and makes it convenient to access your information from anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and log out of this. And what you'll find is that if you don't have this file created, you're kind of stuck for accessing 1Password from a public location. For example, in my demo Agile keychain, I don't have that file. So how, how would I access my 1Password information if I didn't have the 1Password app and didn't have my data synced using Dropbox? Uh, and, the, and the key is that you have to have the HTML file. Although it is a security concern, you are still able to download the HTML file from Agile Bits. And the location is actually here. I found it in this forum. Uh, there's a link and what happens is it creates this zip file. If you actually open the zip file, you'll see there's 1Password HTML. In order to quote unquote enable 1Password Anywhere for your vault, what you need to do is you need to copy that file and you need to place it, in my case, this is the demo that I'm using to show you how to do this, into the uh, root of your 1Password Vault folder. So I'm going to paste this here and uh, now you'll see 1Password HTML is, is there. And now if I were to go back to my Dropbox here and uh, refresh this particular folder, uh, so if I just go back to 1Password and then I open the demo folder again, I'll see that HTML file. And now if I open the HTML file here, I'm able to access the vault just as I did with my personal vault. So you can see how that's useful. And I do want to caution people that there is a security concern, quote unquote. I just want to emphasize that you need to be very careful when you're using 1Password anywhere. I think the fact that I can log on to a computer, say at work or in an internet cafe and access all the information of my 1Password is, is very useful. And particularly in situations where you might have things like your passport, your credit card stored in your 1Password vault, and you might lose something like that while traveling, I think it, the utility of being able to log into Dropbox and access your 1Password vault uh, sort of overrides that potential security concern. Agile Bits plans on creating an alternative way of accessing your information on the go. However, this has not been done yet. I've left a link to the 1Password zip file, which contains the 1Password HTML that you require in the description of this video. Please feel free to download it and uh, place it in the folder as I've shown in this video. And then you should be able to log into your Dropbox and access your 1Password data on the go anywhere that you're able to access Dropbox. Thanks for watching the video. Please leave your comments below and I hope some people found this useful.